Hey there guys, my name is Chen. Today is a very exciting day as I can now officially say for 24 hours or more the new battle talent update has come and we officially have mods. You did hear me correct, yes, we do finally have mods for Battle Talent VR. If you've seen my first video on this, go and make sure to come have a look at it. But we are going to go and check out the first new thing of version 7 that has been added, which is in the cheat menu, and it is, is the test scene right here. If you go into the test scene and load in right over here, as you can see, it's a whole blank area, which you can basically just have so freaking much fun in. There's a whole climbing frame for the parkour and everything that you can do. There's a load of weapons on the ground, but we're going to go and grab the soul killing staff right here, which you can go and control your own souls with. This is one of the many new weapons added to this specific area only. So sadly, you can't use this on any other levels of the game or in sandbox. But as you can see, it's very fun to use and it's quite magical, like mystic spells kind of themed. I like that a lot. Then another brand new weapon which has been added is the laser gun right here. Now, again, same thing with this. You can only use this in the test scene only, not anywhere else in the game. But the fun thing with this, you can just shoot these guys as much as you want. You've got a dark elf, a skeleton, and an elf as well. No, sorry, a goblin, I should say. But as you can see, you can just shoot them as much times as you want. They won't die. They'll flop down for a little bit. But this is amazing that we've got this. And as you can see, this is based off of the sandbox area. But it is just a little fun test area where if you didn't really want to play any of the main dungeon levels, you can just come in here and just have a mess around with these creatures over here and use any of the weapons. If you weren't feeling any of the modded weapons, you've got swords, spears, and all that. And you've got this funky little sword right here, which has got another sword attached onto it which is bonkers it's now the next most exciting thing about this update is the mods if you come over here and have a look there is a lot of new weapons like the synth giant sword multi-blade ak-47 stick and the light blade which we're gonna go and get straight to the light blade right here these are all pre-made mods which i've loaded into the game which you can now use anytime you want and as you can see, this is basically a red lightsaber. We are in quite a bright area at the minute, so we'll, it will we'll look a bit weird, I will admit. But if you do go in the dark and try this, it is a lot of fun. Our next weapon here is the Toy AK-47, which you can hold with one hand. I will admit, it's equally as fun using this as well. Let me know which favorite modded weapon you like down below in the comment section below. But with all these new updates that we have got to the Battle Town game, this leaves such a great opportunity open for more mods that the community itself can make and add into the game and more opportunities for these pre-made mods example to be improved or maybe it had added something to them. So I will be doing a video in the future to show community mods when there are more mods but keep in mind this update has only been out for a day now so majority of the stuff here is just fun things that you can use like also the whip blade here which is pretty much a wiggly sword you're probably going to be thinking why half of these weapons right here seem untextured you gotta remember these are example mods that you can use which we implemented into the game. It's very simple and very easy, but if you would like to show how to do it, I can do a whole video on it. But a favorite weapon of mine is the giant sword right here, which is based on Final Fantasy VII, I think, if I'm correct, which is very cool indeed. And as you can see, it's very heavy, just clanks around, very, very clanky. And then we've got another weapon which a lot of the community did end up wanting was the synth right here, which is a quite a Grim Reaper style weapon. Personally, this one isn't really my favorite. I was more looking forward to the lightsaber, but let's go and test this out right here. We'll go and set this up, get a few weapons together, and we'll go and test out these bad boys. Honestly, they work an absolute treat, and it's such a refreshing thing in the game. And plus, again, with the mods being added into the actual game, so we're able to mod anything in, this 
leaves so many freaking opportunities for the game, which I cannot wait to see what the community ends up coming with. But I will give you a little teaser, a certain somebody has created a model for a Minecraft sword, so we might end up getting Minecraft weapons into this, who knows? But just look at how OP these are, you don't even have to use much strength or much brute force with this. And it's just absolutely freaking monstrous to use these. But apart from that, folks, that is everything brand new added into Battletown. New mods, new pre-made mods, which are six weapons in total, and free grabbing, which I forgot to mention, which makes grabbing weapons so much more easier. My overall thoughts and opinions on this, I think this is a great way and a great direction and decision from the devs and the mods of the game deciding to implement this in. I can't wait to see what more else they do add with this game as this is one of my most favorite VR games to play and I will be buying the full thing 100% when this does come out because it's worth every single penny. But to Fonzie and all of them, thank you so much for adding this in because I can guarantee you all the community and myself have been very excited about this for a while and I can see this being a great thing for future to come. As always, Hit the like button if you have enjoyed, go subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. And apart from that, my name's Hu Chen, and I will see you in the next one.